What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver walkthrough. Yes. We're combining both of them, alright? But we're showing Heart Gold footage because, well, you know what it is, guys. Anywho, look at the graphics right here, guys. Yeah, I, I, I did a little bit of change. Uh, <laughs> look at that, look at Ho. -Oh. Look at <laughs> Look at Lugia. Holy crud. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, just press start and get on with the whole, uh, you know, why is Draven doing Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver yet again? Uh, well, it's very simple, guys. So, during the pandemic, I pretty much completed like about seven or eight walkthroughs. And I was on a, I was on a roll, guys, because, well, <laughs> my job was not deemed essential. And I decided that, you know what, let's go right ahead and play Pokemon Heart Gold. I did that, and there were quite a few things that went wrong with this walkthrough. Many of you guys were giving me crap about it. So I'm here to explain what happened. First off, I was using a computer that was not really compatible with the, the this Mume uh, emulator and all that crap. Yeah, everything was lagging. It was annoying. Then I had to go into Postcom, and none of you guys really liked that. And then when I got myself a brand new computer, gaming computer and all that stuff, I lost all the files and I had to redo everything yet again. And the last episode, as many of you guys already saw, look at that right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, episode 56. And uh, yeah, it, it just took the fun out of it, guys. It really did. So what we're doing right here, since you guys voted for this whole thing, is we're going to be redoing Pokemon Heart Gold, and we're going to be including Pokemon Soul Silver to this. Since I'm going on with this whole redoing kind of uh, renaissance right here in my channel, I'm not going to be playing both games. Uh, well, I'm not going to be playing both games and showcasing them right here. I'm just going to do one full walkthrough on both games, and I'm just going to show you the differences and all that stuff. And now that, you know, good old Draven's actually educated himself in Pokemon, uh, uh, Poke editing and all that stuff, and I got the time, well, let's go right ahead and do it. So there's no info involved. Now, here's a cool thing about... What I'm doing right here too, I actually uh, switched my controller from a simple Super Nintendo controller to a Nintendo 64 controller because we got the speed button. So the battles will be going faster. And uh, well, if you guys are wondering, am I gonna do any trades around here? Not really, guys. Uh, the the there there is a big uh, thing that I was been I've been trying to do for Pokemon Heart Gold and that or in Soul Silver too was trade Pokemon and uh, yeah I couldn't find a way to trade Pokemon. If you guys have a link or a video on how to instruct me to trade Pokemon from the D the Desmume, that would be greatly appreciated. So go ahead and comment down below. As of right now, we are not trading, but we will be including Pokemon that we had in our previous walkthroughs that we just completed right here. So as you guys can see right here, huh? Oh, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> I was reading the, this book here. And well, here we are starting off again. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like you to tell me a few things about, uh, or I'd like to tell you a few things uh, you should know about this world. So, let's see, this is the world, this world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. And look at this, we got ourselves a Pika Blue, or Meryl, <laughs> remember that? We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we play, we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Hmm, that is true. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Won't you please tell me? So, as you guys can see, yes, we are a boy, a man, to be quite honest, and yes. Okay, so please tell me your name. Let's go with the name that strikes fear in everybody. That makes tigers purr like a little kitty cat. That's right. It's me. It's me. It's GLD. Going back into the Hoenn region. Or, no, not the Hoenn region, the Johto region. Holy crud, man, what am I smoking today? Let's smoke a life, guys. Okay, so here it is. Draven, yes. Draven, are you ready? Your very own tale of, of a grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult experiences. There's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure, let's go out to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. 
Okay. So here we are again, guys, in the Johto region. Now, why play Pokemon Heart Gold while I'm still completing Pokemon Fire Red? Well, I answered my question right there. I'm about to complete it, and uh, I should probably give you guys a I, I should probably give you guys a little bit of a game uh, while this is happening. Plus, I've been uh, I've been getting heckled by a lot of people right now about this game, so I might as well start with it. Uh, so first is first, we're going to be talking to our mama right here, and she is going to be like, Hi Draven, you're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide and seek with her, uh, her Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. We're going to get ourselves a bag. And this is your trainer card, of course, and here you can serve a record of your progress, or save a record of your progress. These are also rather, rather helpful, the options, and just try touching the buttons and you'll know what to do in no time. Okay? So, first is first, guys. We have to uh, change the settings right here. Yeah, we gotta change the speed because this is ridiculous. Yeah, actually, hold on. Just a sec. Uh, oh, crap baskets. <laughs> Still trying to get to used to the buttons right here in Pokemon, uh, in, well, in my Nintendo 64 controller. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with this one. I always like that background and stuff. So, let's go uh, Let's go ahead and find Lyra. Lyra? Lyra? I can't even pronounce it. But here we are in New Bark Town, and look at this. There's that Meryl that's been uh, playing hide and seek and all that stuff. And Lyra's gonna be like... Oh, they find each other, and good old Pika Blue is gonna be running away, like a people, like a Pika Blue would. Now, I want to, I want you to guys, I want you guys to take a look at this. Look at the graphics, okay? It's looking a lot smoother. The 3D graphics, holy crud! Look at the 3D graphics. I, <laughs> that is a huge step up from what we're doing right here. That is because, yes, I went to YouTube University yet again, and I discovered what exactly is it that makes these things run smooth. Good God, it, it only took like 13 years, guys. It really did. So here we have Professor Elm. He's going to be like, Hi, Draven, I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk on uh, with Pokemon, just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So, I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if it brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has Pokemon you could choose from. And from there, he's going to get a little email and he's going to be like, Oh, hey, I got an email. Hmm, yeah, okay, alright. Hey, listen. I have this acquaintance that uh, people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyways, I just got an email from him saying that he's, it's, well, this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. Okay, so here it is, guys, the moment of truth. And look at the 3D, guys. I am so proud of this. Okay, so we got three Pokemon, as always, in the Johto region. Here we got Chikorita, the grass-type Pokemon. Then we got Cyndaquil, the fire-type Pokemon. And Totodile, the water-type Pokemon. So, I've already posted it up right there on my community page. All of you guys are just looking at that thing, and you... <laughs> You have made it very decisive. I am going to check one more time on my phone because I don't want to screw this over. There's a big difference between the Pokemon I want and the Pokemon that, you know, I let you guys choose. And, well, that looks like... <laughs> yeah, it looks like... Uh, it looks like you guys have spoken. Well, it looks like the Pokemon that we're going to be going with is Cyndaquil, the Fire-type Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and choose him yet again. And look at this, we got ourselves Cyndaquil. Alrighty. So let's go right ahead and give our good old buddy Cyndaquil a nickname. 
If you guys remember from Pokemon Crystal, yes, we nicknamed this Pokemon after a pretty good nickname. Everybody say hello to Cinder. Uh, you know what? You know, now that we got lowercase, we should probably, let's see, pressing the select button. There we go, okay. Again, still trying to get used to these buttons right here. We're going to be nicknaming this Pokemon Cinder, because, well, <laughs> it's the only nickname we can actually come up with for a Cyndaquil. Yes. And, well, here we have Professor Elm asking us, he's like, how do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, isn't it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it in this machine. It's so it's so easy to use. Just check the PC on my on my desk. Professor Elm is gonna be like Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north at Little Pass uh, or Little Pass Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Draven. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here now before anything happens. Here we have Homeboy, he's gonna be like, Draven, I want you to have these to help you on your task. And he will be giving us some potions, which, you know, are needed. Pokemon are weak in the beginning. Don't hesitate to use a potion if your yours is in danger. Uh, whatever you say, Homeboy. Whatever you say. So, look at this. We're getting uh, looked at right here by Lyra, and she's gonna be like, <laughs> Draven, so you picked a Cyndaquil. That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes, too. <laughs> oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya! Eh, well, that is true. We gotta we gotta show it to our mom because we can't leave here without our mom knowing. Uh, so first, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Cinder, the Cyndaquil. And as you guys can see, it does have a modest nature. Now, if I'm looking at this correctly, our modest nature will be happy, will be helping our special attack, but will be deterring our, our physical attack. So yeah, look at that. It's already looking like that. And uh, if you guys can't see the the blue and red outlines onto where it's gonna be affected, then you know, <laughs> I don't know. If you're colorblind, it is what it is. So yeah, we got ourselves a fire type Pokemon right here, and. Well, let's go right ahead and show our mama because she might be worried. I don't know. So, coming in here, talking to mama, and she's like, Oh, Draven, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elm has, asked, uh, has a task for you, you say? What kind of a task? I see. That sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes, the, makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. Your Pokegear has come back from the repair shop. Here you go. And here we have a Pokegear, which, you know, we will be needing the Pokegear. It's often called, uh, this is a, every, well, every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use the Pokegear to make a phone call, too. Do you remember how? Yes, I do. She's just going to tell us anyways, because, well, that's our mom. And, well, that is pretty much it. Now, we all get we all get this, guys. In the beginning, there are a lot of tutorials. Now, before you leave, Professor Elm is going to catch you. And he's like, wait one sec. Uh-oh. Are we in trouble? Are we in trouble? And here we have Professor Elm. He's going to be like, I almost forgot. Here, I'll give you my number. And here we have a phone number. Now, in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you... You have unlimited space for phone numbers, so don't worry about, you know, running out of space. It will actually work out. Now, a mechanic that has been implemented implemented in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver is walking with the Pokemon just like in Pokemon Yellow. And as you guys can see, Cinder looks like it wants to lead. Okay, so, yes, we're going to be walking just a little bit. But like I said in the beginning, guys, we did just a small change right here. And that is that we've implemented the speed button. Look at that. Speed button right there. Speed button. Speed button. Oh my god. So, if you guys can tell, yes, we are going to be changing it up right here when it comes to Pokemon battles. Not only that, but, you know, the editing and all that stuff. It's definitely going to work. So, here we go. Again, another battle with a hoo-hoo. And so far, so good. Yes. Look at that. So... Yes, that's another thing that's changed right here in this walkthrough for better, for worse, I don't even know. But, yes, the walking is very, very slow right now because, well, yeah, we don't have running shoes. But once we get that, after we get to Mr. Pokemon, then, yeah, 
this will become easier. And yes, I I am going to be showing the first few battles right here with uh with our Pokemon Cinder, and that is mainly because we want to we actually want to grow levels right here. And here we learned Smoke Screen, very good move. And uh, well, yes, you guys are not mistaken. I'm going to be very strategic when it comes to battling these Pokemon right here. And here we get ourselves a potion. Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on right here and battle another Pokemon. Hoot Hoot. So just to keep you guys uh just to keep you guys informed, yes, this game will not always be at nighttime. Um I know that, you know, right now it is what my time right here, it's currently 1030 at night. Mainly because, well, you know, I had the idea, let's go right ahead and play Pokemon and all that crud. And uh well, these hoot hoot are getting on my nerves. And a fun thing. Okay, let's see. Does Cinder have? Actually, you know what? Yeah, we we do need to use a, a potion right here. Yeah, Cinder is not equipped. So let's go right ahead and continue on beating this uh, hoot hoot right there. And we grow to level seven. Like I said, guys, it's gonna be slow in the very beginning because, well, <laughs> we don't have the running shoes. But look at this. We made it out of there alive. And, uh, well, let's see. What can I say that is going to be interesting to this whole walkthrough? I know. Now, the Pokemon that I've selected in the previous Pokemon Heart Gold uh, walkthrough, not always going to be the same, okay? I, I decided that in this walkthrough right here, yes, we're going to be using a nice plethora of Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, we can't grab this right now because, well, we don't have an apricorn tree or uh, apricorn bag. And, well, here we are, guys, coming into Cherry Grove City. And we are talking to this guy. He's like, you're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. If you like, I can teach you a few things. Okay, then, follow me. And, well... Yeah, we, got, we have to follow this guy. He's just looking around. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that you weren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go slow as possible, so, key, so try keeping up. So talking to this guy, he's going to be introducing us to the Pokemon Center. He's going to be introducing us to the Pokemon, just as always. You know, we're getting all these tutorials out of the way before, you know, we move on with the real stuff. And, well, here is Route 30. Trainers will be battling out there. And, yes, there's Mr. Pokemon's house. And we're going to be going down here. And as you guys can see, Mr. whatever his name is, he's going to be telling us this is the sea. As you can see, some Pokemon are found only in the water. Yet yeah, on say. And then he is going to be coming towards this very direction. And he's going to be talking about his house. And for your effort of keeping up with me, I will be giving you my running shoes. They are still warm. <laughs> Got you, didn't I? Don't worry. These are brand new. And we have received ourselves, you know, a uh, <laughs> some running shoes. We can press the B button to to continue running, but here's the fun here's the fun part about the running shoes. You can actually press onto the running shoe in icon and you're going to be seeing my mouse right here and you're going to be running forever. So, uh, keep that on guys because <laughs> it's going to get slow if you don't if you don't uh, use that. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to heal up my Pokémon. I will be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so we already healed up and ready to go. It is time for us to go straight up to Route 30 and before anything happens, this guy's going to follow us. He's like, <laughs> "I made it." I forgot about one thing. This is another token from me. Take it. Guy Gent gave us the map card. So that right there will enable us to see our maps and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, it becomes useful. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here and go straight into round 30. And now that we're moving quickly, it just feels like we can battle quickly, too. And, well, let's go right ahead and do that. And just like that, Cinder grows just a little bit more. So let's go right ahead and continue battling because, well... You know, these Pokemon love us. Now remember, we are in a day and night cycle. You will be able to find some different kinds of Pokemon right here. And, well, look at this. We found ourselves a Rattata and gives us a level level 8. And here we found ourselves another potion. Right now, those we, can, we have to take uh, whatever we can get. Now, let's go in here. If we talk to this gentleman, he's going to be like, People usually call, uh, come by my house looking for Mr. Pokemon's house. You mean to visit my house, right? 
Oh, wow. How kind of you. Do you have any apricorns? Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. I have one of those trees, too. Apricorns are really something. You can make a Pokeballs and other things. They are quite useful. I have a feeling that this is meant to be. I'm so happy about that, so I'll give you this. And here we get ourselves an apricorn box, which will be able to hold the apricorns that you that you pick up along the way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be picking up that apricorn. And bam, here is our first apricorn, a green one, which will transform into a level ball, I believe. Could be wrong, I don't even know. All right, so moving on forward. We're going to be battling yet again. Do not worry, guys. Uh, later on into our walkthrough, we will be editing out most of these uh, wild Pokemon battles. If not, you know, buying some repels and all that crud. And, well, there we go. Gotta love the speed button. I missed it. It's actually been missing in all, all my Nintendo 3DS or Nintendo DS games. And uh, it's... I, I could say... I can say that it's actually given me some high hopes when it comes to, you know, redoing other Pokemon Nintendo 3DS games, or DS games, I should say. Mainly because, well, I mean, had I learned this back then, this... Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, so I just got poisoned right there. Good gravy. Alright, so... I, I gotta heal up my Pokemon, because this is not look, this is not gonna be good, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we got, we got healed up, and of course we're gonna be battling some more Pokemon. Completely forgot that I had... I had an antidote, and yes, we're gonna be running into some Poison-type Pokemon right here. So, let's go right ahead and move on. And here we are in front of Mr. Pokemon's house. Now, before anything, grab this Apricorn. And here we have a pink apricorn. Again, the graphics here are just amazing. Holy crud. Okay, so here is Mr. Pokemon's house. And once you make it here, he will notice you. And he, of course, just talking to Mr. Po or Professor Oak. And he's going to be like, you must be Draven. It was, a, it was I who sent the email to Professor Elm earlier. And, well, he's going to be giving us something special right here. And that something special is what he wants Professor Elm to examine. And that is a mystery egg. And, well, a friend of mine from Ecritic gave it to me. I bet you can't find this, uh, this kind of, or this kind of egg in, in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell us what it is. He, he's the best thing when it comes to, to research of Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. You are returning to Professor Elm. Here, your Pokemon should get some rest. And, yes, we're getting some rest right here. Okay, so, <laughs> as you guys can see, Professor Oak in the flash is like and and with that I'm Professor Oak a Pokemon researcher so you're Draven I was visiting my friend Mr. Pokemon I heard you were running an errand for, uh, from, uh, for Professor Elm so I waited here oh what, what's this a rare Pokemon I see you must be helping Professor Elm's research I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon you will treat your Pokemon with love and care it seems Professor Oak's also saying, ah, you seem to be dependable, and how how would you like to help, help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data from Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. And just like that, we grab ourselves a Pokedex. That is awesome. And, well, he's going to be going back to his radio show. And, yes, we will be seeing each other again. And look at that. We get ourselves another phone uh, phone number right there, which is great. I will be seeing you, old man, and, well, now it's time for us to travel back to New Park Town, and just like that, we just triggered the phone, and Professor Elm is going to be like, Hello? Draven? It's a disaster. It's just terrible. What should I do? <laughs> oh, no. Please get back here now. And, well, we have to get back to the lab. So, what is going to happen, guys? As always, I am going to fast forward to Cherry Grove City, and then, well, you'll see. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are in Cherry Grove City, and off screen, we managed to get Cinder to level 10, and, well, look at this. Dot, dot, dot. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for you, a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I do have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this guy right here is a bit of an asshole. So, 
Here we go, taking on our rival, Passerby Boy. That's not really his name, but you know exactly what I mean. And, well, you know what kind of Pokemon he catches. He's going to be getting a Pokemon that's typing stronger to you. And as you guys can see, we did learn the Ember Attack. And as always, when facing important Pokemon trainers, we're not going to be speeding up this whole thing right here. So let's go right ahead and blind this Pokemon right here. There we go. Smoke screen. Didn't see that. Hum uh, didn't see that coming. And here comes a Leer attack, which he's going to lower our defense just a tad. And well, let's go right ahead and go straight for a tackle attack right here. And uh, well, Leer avoided that. Okay, so we avoided that. And well, here we go. Tackle attack for the win. That's what happens when you train your Pokemon properly. Yes. Okay, 70 experience points and the passerby boy. He's like, hm, are you happy you won? Yes, I am. Okay, so he's like, do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Which is my... And... Uh, well, look at this. He dropped a little something. He's like, give it back. That's my trainer card. Oh no, you saw my name. Yeah. <laughs> I used to call him Giovanni Jr. until I learned his real name, so that, that, that right there is funny. Alright, so we're going to be speeding our way back to um, to New Bark Town, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are back in New Bark Town, and yes, we did a little bit of uh, battling. Went by smoothly, and as you guys can see, there is a police officer right here. He's like, who are you? We are investigating the case of a missing Pokemon here. Rule number one, whoever did it will come back on the site. Oh my, so you must be the one who did it? And as always, our girlfriend's gonna be here. She's like, she's like, hold on a second. He has nothing to do with it. I saw it. There was a red-haired boy looking at the into this building. And he, well, the guy's gonna be looking at. Him, he's like, oh well. Hmm. What? You battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? Yes, I did. Not really, but we can imagine what kind of a Pokemon name he does have. So. We're gonna go straight with the character name that he's had, uh, you know, he's had always, so, yeah. <laughs> Here we go, we bequeath the name Silver. I don't know what's so Silver about this guy, he's like, I see, so Silver was his name! Yes. Thanks for helping my investigation. My next assignment is to search the, uh, to search this red-haired individual. Okay, alrighty. So, he's taken off, and, well... Larry's gonna be like, Draven, I'm glad they I'm glad they understand that you are innocent. See you later. You know what? Get yourself a girl that will fight for you like that. Anywho, after that, Professor Elm's gonna be like, Draven, this is terrible. Ah oh, yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? And here we give Professor Elm the mystery egg. He's gonna be like, huh? This is an an egg, isn't it? This egg may be something I've never seen. Still, it's just an egg. Professor or Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Well, since he gave it to us, we might as well find out the secret it holds. I'll keep it for a while to while it, or I'll keep it for a while to to find out about the egg. What? Professor Oak gave you this Pokédex? Draven, is that true? That that's incredible. He is superb at seeing the potential of Poke, uh, people as Pokémon trainers. Wow, Draven, I knew you were a little different. Things are going to be fun. Your Pokémon seem to really like you, so why uh, so why don't you take the Pokémon Gym Challenge? If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll eventually challenge the Pokemon League champion. Hmm. Or not. <laughs> Becoming the champion is not all easy, but you can certainly challenge Violet City's gym. And, well, Draven, challenging the gyms scattered around all the long is a long journey. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Okay. So... We're gonna complete this. We're gonna complete this uh, this episode with two things, guys. I kind of want to get the tutorials out of the way. So let's go ahead and talk to our mom. Obviously, we're letting her know that we're gonna be going on our adventure. She's noticing that, and she's like, "Okay, I'll help too." What? Can, or but what can I do for you? I know. Every time you receive prize money, I'll save you some for you. On your long journey, money's important. Do you want me to save money for you? Yes, please do because I I do enjoy the gifts that you give me. If not, well, I don't even think we get it right here. Okay, I'll take care of your money. Be careful. Pokemon are your friends, and when you work as a team, you can accomplish anything. Now go on. Yeah, so I'm going to go make my mom very, very proud. Just like in real life. I make her proud every single time, even though I'm a headache. <laughs> I, I think we are all headaches uh, towards our mom. Now, 
Finally, we're gonna finish this episode with this. Lyra is gonna be right in front of Route uh, 30, I believe, and she, or 29, and she's gonna be like, Draven, you can catch wild Pokemon with Pokeballs. Follow me! Okay, so we're gonna be looking at this, and Lyra is gonna be showing us how to battle some Pokemon right here. And, well, she's like, just like that, huh? Was it too fast, or? Okay, I'll catch again, come this way. So we're walking into the, gl into the, gl into the grass, wow, can't speak. And here we have Radita. And well, she's coming out with her Meryl right here. She's gonna show us how to actually capture a Pokemon right here. Now, when it comes to Pokemon, especially right here in this walkthrough, I am not gonna go with, uh, well, for Pokemon Heart Gold, I'm going to try and use as many Pokemon as possible. But, it's all gonna be reliable Pokemon that I've used either one way or another. I am thinking of a team. Now, since we can't trade Pokemon right now, we're gonna, we're gonna leave it off to Pokemon that, you know, are based off in this game, Pokemon Heart Gold. Yes, we are playing Soul Silver on the side, but I will be showing you the differences between Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Trust me on this, it's very, very... It, it's it's you know it's not that it's not that much but there will be some differences now as you guys can see just like that it's better to lower your targets HP more than I did or make it sleep or something you can try all kinds of things to see what works I'll give you these good luck okay alrighty so we got ourselves pokeballs and she's like see ya yeah she's gonna be a good one right there so that is pretty much it for this episode right here, guys. I kind of wanted to knock this all out of the park. Now that we got some good graphics, now that we know how to use this, uh, this Mew Mew properly, and plus we got the computer, can never stop bragging about it, it's looking like a very good walkthrough. All of this is going to be uh, live com, no more po post com like I did in the original Heart Gold. Like I said, yes, we will be playing Pokemon Soul Silver on the side, and the things that are different, I'm going to showcase either in the episode or I'm going to give you an extra episode. That way, you guys can see the differences between Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Um, other than that, guys, thank you guys again for being as patient as possible when it came to, you know, bringing out this walkthrough yet again. Um, yeah, I, I'm having fun with the schedule that I'm having right now, guys. I can't promise you that it's going to continue like this for a very long time when it comes to my schedule. Things do change, seasons and all that stuff. But I'm going to try and knock out as many things as possible within one episode, just like in my Pokemon Fire Red. So, yes, we are getting there. We're going to we're gonna try our best right here, guys. And we're not going to do the same mistake like last time where, you know, we left it off for like so many months and all that stuff. Anywho, again, thank you guys. For watching thank you guys for being supportive and patient if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel there's a heart button right there any kind of amount can help us right here just to continue this whole channel and if you guys haven't checked yes i have two other channels right here what was it pokemon journeys hd my hack exclusive channel and house of draven which will be featuring its first few episodes uh within later this week probably i don't even know but do subscribe to those channels I will see you guys tomorrow for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. See you guys.